with that said let me introduce my next guest today uh, a familiar face again mm -hmm. happy new year happy Benjamin. new year how are you good good happy good to, to be see here you. good to see you too asante mm -hmm. uh, mwaka vizuri maisha vizuri yeah, uh, there's a singer who used to sing back in 2000, like Senachi. Ilikuwa mwaka elfu mbili, anasema mwaka elfu mbili, wacha wend. You know, <laughs> yeah. the year had good and bad things. And, yeah. uh, if, I, if I was asked, I wouldn't want a repeat of it. Yeah. I'm happy for the good things. Okay. <laughs> but I don't want to go back. Okay, but you're ready for 2020. <laughs> I'm ready for 2020. Excited. Yeah. Good stuff. That's that's good. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, today, Benjamin and I are going to be discussing with you, what do men want in women? Benjamin. <laughs> Mi naona inaweza kuwa hii December labda kuna wanaume wengine wakachangamka they went and proposed finally eh they proposed they've stopped saying that they are afraid of commitment maybe some people got very fortunate this last December yeah. and uh, you know are looking forward to the the next year but I, I think overall even for those who maybe didn't propose but they they're thinking maybe this would be the year I want to I want to put myself out there what is it that men are looking for? <laughs> and you reminded me, somebody kidding that um, he's looking for a girlfriend for hire. Because I can't and you money at Oh, December. <laughs> so I'll just way. pay you for the trip. <laughs> you go act. <laughs> we come back. <laughs> so, <Pressure. laughs> uh, proposals, a holiday, they can be inspired by many things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we should be careful with them. <laughs> They can be inspired by many things. Oh, no. A desire to put up a face. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Let's answer this question, what men want. Mm -hmm. Let's begin here by saying that men want different things. Every man wants what goes with who he is. Mm -hmm. A driven man is looking for a driven woman to support him. Mm. There are women who are looking for a very ambitious man to go to life with them. Mm -hmm. That man is looking for that kind of a lady. Mm -hmm. There are other men who are you know, leader oriented. When I was uh, looking, I was very clear because I know I'm very public. I didn't want an equally public person. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we need one of us to, to be naturally a supporter. I, I will not like mute you. I want a person who, who knows what they want, mm -hmm. but we should not be parallel because you said parallel lines never meet. And it's a pity because they have so much in common. Yeah. <laughs> because they have so much in common, yeah. they're headed the same place, that's why they never meet. Wow. <laughs> we need a person who we have a meeting point. Mm. Um, so driven men won't support us. But you also need to know, we have many men who are sick. Narcissists are looking for a, a woman who can be abused, abusable, wow. controllable. We eh. have boys who have refused to grow up. They're looking for mothers yeah. to continue the mothering. Yeah. We have addicted men who are looking for financiers of the addiction. He's into alcohol, he looks for a girl who has money, charms your, his way to your heart. I love him to complain that women are rising. Then he stays in the house while eating your salary, you're paying rent, and you can't tell other girls because, you know, you deal oh, with the problem dear. there. And we are looking for men who are broken, and they're looking for a fixer. Kutoka mm. actually, the last ex, Ajay Pona. And you are here to, to, to pay the sins of all the women community <laughs> as their representative. <laughs> so now you can't correct him because Maggie corrected him in the same way. <laughs> Now you can't you can't even <laughs> challenge him because Maggie did the same. Uh -huh. So you are first to check what Maggie did so that you don't repeat it. <laughs> so yeah. he is broken and instead of healing, he wants you to adjust to his brokenness. Wow. Let me talk to guys. Because now we are saying men are looking for many and we have these men who are so insecure, they are looking for a puppet. Change kiatu. What girl told me. <laughs> and she is almost that that as man yaka kikuja jioni ya mpate akanaka different ni mrembo kidogo ulikuwa merembeka hivyo kienda wapi haya yeah he is very insecure and let me announce to ladies the one sign of insecure mean is when they when they want to control how you look mm. and when they when they they, they track you they check mm. where you are going mm -hmm. that is one sign that i i hope we we we, we do inaka kama it ni upendo it just wants me for himself mm -hmm. Really, we say it, insecure men, uh, they know they're not giving you what you deserve. So they're always afraid that you might go. The day you discover what you deserve, you will go. Right. Okay. So as we talk then about what men want in women. Yes. There's this thing about, I had a conversation once with a gentleman, a very educated gentleman, which was one of the most disturbing conversations I've had. I suspect that's a, a setup for a disappointment. Continue. <laughs> um... <laughs> 
he was basically telling me I was I'm married by this point right so it wasn't a tea he was hitting on me or anything but he, he was we were talking about relationships and he started complaining about women just because so how how does a woman what does a man hey what does a man like is it that men just don't want a woman that is strong independent in her career what is it because if someone has gone and spent her time working, going to school, establishing herself, and then she comes into your life, but unasema akona vitisho, what exactly Let's do Let's address want? both sides of that problem. Problem one is women who have been single for long are not easy to date. Because although they might love you emotionally, for all practical purposes, they are self-contained. Mm -hmm. They're used to doing things on their own. Mm -hmm. They have had to, I was talking one girl, uh, just pretty young girl, but she has completed one of the, uh, you know, a, a residential house with 60 units, with wow. tenants, 25 year old. Dad left her a plot of land, it's somewhere near campus, she said, let me develop it. You know, banks can easily do that, mm -hmm. and within a short while you're through that loan. Mm -hmm. And I was saying now, a guy will see this girl and start saying, oh, she's too independent, oh, she's this, <laughs> oh, she's that. She has no place for me. So let me start by telling her, if you come to, <laughs> if you, uh, uh, ladies who have been single a while and who have developed economically and financially and all that, there's a part of their life that is really self-contained. It will take them effort to learn to need you. Mm. But I say to myself, if I was dating this girl, I know what I would do. There's something. Yeah, the guy can make it easier. Yes, let's come here. This other guy, these other guys who are afraid of you having money, who are afraid of you having a car. You know, you show up for a date in, in a car and this already changes his mindset. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's so all you'd be taking matatus to go see him <laughs> so yeah. that you don't scare him. Yeah. You know, let's start by saying that there are these men who think submission means being weak. Mm. And that's a wrong notion. Mm -hmm. You can have a woman who is very empowered. I, I, I listened one time, I think it's Beatrice, Beatrice Lach, one of the women in the county. She was saying how the husband is such a supporter, mm -hmm. who is always on the backdrop, but the strongest supporter she has. Mm -hmm. And they have a very wonderful relationship. Mm -hmm. She's out there in the public, the guy is in the private. Mm -hmm. There are women who are um, empowered financially, empowered, but they are also very relational, mm -hmm. loving, present. Emo money cannot satisfy you emotionally. I tell sure. men, the key to any woman, whether she's, she has money or she doesn't have, is emotions. Love right. her, you know, cherish her. Yeah. You, become, you become something to her that she can't find anywhere else. Right. And women who have values, money doesn't change them. Absolutely. Let's announce this. Don't say, because Jesus is in the media, because this woman is a lawyer. I hear lawyers, I hear media people, I hear nurses, hey, doctors. Provisions and money don't change people. People mm -hmm. make the provision. According to who they are. Who you go on that day and gonna come with these women. He was also so stupid. He forgot he was talking to a woman. Do you know we have learned fools? <laughs> yes. So he should have been cautious now that he was talking to one of you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, let's start here by saying that he was wearing a broken glasses, so everything looked broken. Yeah. When you wear blue glasses, a glass with a shade, everything looks with that shade. Right. This man, the category I say they are broken. So they are looking for a sympathizer. Mm. I'll teach you next time how to get into those men's lives. Oh, I, I actually agree with you. For next time, just agree. <laughs> <laughs> just agree with him. He will take you along his pathology and show you where he's sick. Wow. Then he will allow you to challenge him. After you're first empathized, mm -hmm. I, cannot, I, I know why you would say that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's not that men can't handle a woman with money part of it is just that they need to also deal with their own insecurities that's it that man was broken he had dealt with that and another thing another problem is he came from his father's his line of men he came from mm. what sitting on weak women so he only thought the woman who can stay with me is one who has no money mm. the traditional african woman who was staying at home waiting for money to be sent mm -hmm. so he thinks that for a wife to stay at home she she should have no money no mm -hmm. job there are men who are still suffering from their father complex because their yeah. fathers were, uh, their, 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 their mothers were high school. It's housewives. a big issue, Benjamin. It is. Lots of young people talk There's about it. There's a liberation it. to be done for every young man who is going to date a modern woman. Yeah. I, I, I joked at other place. I told, ask most guys, most Kenyan men to describe a wife and they'll describe a house help. <laughs> Preach. <laughs> <Don't be describing. laughs> Very true. They had asked me why. A house help with benefits. They had asked, they had asked me why guys are sleeping around with house help. I said, the house help looks closer to what he thinks of a woman wow. than you. Ouch. <laughs> you, know, you know, she's there submissive. No money, just yes. Mm -hmm. And cook, bring food. And, you know, no challenge. <laughs> 
that guy has a sick or oh, hundred years old notion of a wife and this girl comes closer to it so essentially for a guy to find what he wants in a woman he first has to address his own issues and we need to tell girls that let me first talk to girls when you go to dating, stop opening your mouth and describing the kind of man you are looking for. Oh, I want a guy who's very ready to do this. I want a guy who's... When you go for dates, shut your mouth. Get outside yourself and watch the man in front of you. What one attack or dear Koei camera at you on Galesha Raya? New Year's Day message, State of the Union. <laughs> Girls, listen to me. When you're talking this guy, Ali's own sense of interaction, don't open your heart as to what you're looking for. Uh -huh. Any fool can fake to fit what you're looking for. Don't show too openly what you're expecting. Mukikuta na date uzianza na maombi. Tuombe chakula. Uzianza na testimony. Uzianza na testimony I'm saved. <laughs> you're showing too openly what you're made of. So tunafanya tu tungoje Be blank. Be polite but blank so that you can study him. <laughs> Aki suggest kuomba jua najua umatoka church. Flow along with an nonchalant <laughs> distance. Wewe una wanajifanya wameokoka just at the We come to church to look for girls. Everybody knows that. Ni nyinyi tu amjui. Ni Benjamin, umeanza mwaka mpya na moto aje. I need to announce this. Every guy looking for a good girl goes to church. We. Tusidanganywe. vizuri. We know there are girls we run in clubbing out there. We know they are not wife materials. By the way, mean sham ambio ati you know cuz I I I studied with some Nigerians and I'd see them messing around with all these other girls, right? And then one day I'm like, he's coming to hit on me. I'm like, but where, where? He's like, ah, uh ah, -uh, that one, Joyce, that's just a girl. But me, I'm looking for a wife. Thank you. That's <laughs> so a man's code. And if you have a difference. Tutaki kuchanua the prey, alafu ikimbie. We are the predators. <laughs> we want to keep these codes to ourselves. We can tell a wife material from a club material. Boss, mbona mna tuchezea na nini? It deserves us. Huh? You ask, is that a question or an answer? <laughs> No, because then, oh, pia wanadada, pia wanachan, wanachanuka, pia. Because now they're seeing you guys are also just playing games. Let me tell you, we play games with those you're who entertain. You're making it harder for yourself. We play games with those who are allowing the playing of the games. Okay, that's true. Thank you. So one, I was saying this. Girls, when you want to know what a man wants, don't describe what you want yourself. This is an interview. Mm. Keep your scorecards hidden. You're looking for a guy who looks like... Christianity is not shown by those more rituals of praying over food, giving testimonies, <laughs> quoting Bible, you know, and uh, ending with hallelujah and changing your voice. Sister, <gasps> Jesus. That's pretense. That's drama. If he shows, up for, if he shows up for a date with a Bible, <laughs> ban him. Disqualify that fool at once. If he comes with a suit and a tie and he's hot <laughs> and he's sweaty, that's a sick fella. He needs rescue, not relationship. I can't deal with you. <laughs> so, <laughs> I can't deal with so you. So those are rituals and anybody can put them on to fool you. But no, okay, at what point then do we... Because we still... We, Next, thank you. Let me tell you how to know whether he's Christian or not. <laughs> Instead of asking where you want to see yourself five years to come, ask him where were you five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> that will tell you whether he has made choices that are Christian. Wow. It's choices that show Christianity. It's values that show Christianity. It's the depth of character. You can, actually, you can see a, a calm and cold. You can see godliness on somebody's face. Note when he talks to phone on people who are annoying. Yeah. Notice whether he tips the waiter. Notice whether he greets the, the man. The, tipping and greeting is not about having money or surplus. It's about the kindness. Yeah. The heart is shown by those small things. Yeah. To you, because he's interested, he's acting, putting a lot of effort to act. Sure, Check sure. when he's treating those other people he's not acting to. When somebody cuts him in the line, when somebody delays them, conductor kiongezea kumi. Those are the things that show the heart. <laughs> and he cannot hide all those. Just observe. Don't it's very important. Don't try to mold him to what you're hoping for. Mm. Don't be childish. Be sound here. Be sober here. And another thing, even if you've been having this guy for two years, I don't know where he's taking this, and you know, oh, you are hoping and all the hoping. Don't give him exclusivity when he has not earned it. Keep seeing Akina Zulus, Akina Zaimo, Akina Brayo. Talk to them on phone. Respond to their messages. Don't block them. Don't withdraw from Facebook. Some girls have acted foolishly by withdrawing from Facebook, saying, on Facebook, I can't tell who is, who is, who is for real and who is fake. Even on earth, you can't tell who is for real, who is fake. <laughs> 
True. Just lazy. Yeah. <laughs> just lazy. Hey, vinyi mafisi tu nikawaambia visa mafisi wana identify younger the same the first time they inbox you by calling you pet names. Akikuita like baby true. sweetheart, either he's stupid or a fussy or both. Mm -hmm. He has identified himself a very easy criteria. Somebody who greets you hi Joyce, I like your I like your clothing. Now that's a polite guy. You can respond. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. If he wants to continue you can you can chat. Facebook is very safe because nobody can hurt you through a phone. Yeah. It's very safe. I tell you, it's easier to date on Facebook, to ch to be available on Facebook because you can interact with 10 guys on the same day and you can't do that in real life. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm telling girls, go analyze what you want. Have in mind the kind of guy you're looking for. Mm -hmm. If you want a guy who's taller than you, don't waste time for the brother who's shorter than you. Because for most girls, that matters, apparently. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Apparently, that's important. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they want to look up to you, uh -huh. not to look down. <laughs> so, uh -huh. There are girls who don't mind. They say, I want. So, decide what you want physically and emotionally and all that. And also be realistic. Uh -huh. Don't be idealistic. We yeah. don't have ideal people. Be realistic. But again, don't begin too low. I told people if you don't marry a person who fulfills your appetite, you keep on seeing food out right. outside there. <laughs> you never feel like yeah. you ate home, yes. <laughs> you, <laughs> you never feel like... So if, if the person makes you happy 70%, that's about the best you can get in this life. Wow. So either you settle with it or Kuna you move mbinguni, tafadhali. Tuwachi kutapata mbingu huku mbunia niye. Evo, I cool down this guy as we go on break. Uko sawa, baba. Guy, we'll be back. This is Full Circle with Joyce. Stay tuned. <laughs> Anaitwa Benjamin Zulu. Hiyo <laughs> tu, ni hayo tu kwa sasa. <laughs> Benjamin, karibu tena to full circle with Joyce. Maze. But here's the thing. Chenye unasema ni ukweli, mm -hmm. right? And we need to be very frank with ourselves mm -hmm. with the way we conduct relationships. So let, let's let's not take the same sort of nonsense and the same sort of, you know, hurts that we were causing onto people into 2020. Mm -hmm. It's a brand new year. Let's say that we're going to have our, with ourselves a very fresh start. And so then, for gentlemen who are not necessarily very confident, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But perhaps they know what they want in a woman. And these are good guys, mm -hmm. right? Tunaskianga machach girls, wanapenda ma bad boys, nansio watu I mean, they're not as attracted, let's say, to church I'm tempted to tell you the psychology behind that. But no. <laughs> very briefly. <laughs> you always desire what you don't have in your life. So those people are very cultured, constrained, mm -hmm. and put together. They desire the freedom the bad boys mm -hmm. seem to be living in. Mm -hmm. So they'll be attracted. The bad boy desires the order. Girl, right. Desires order. Mm -hmm. And, you know, stability and self-control. And you seem to be epitomizing that. So we always desire what, even if it's harmful, it's just so lacking in our life. Sounds like a breath of fresh air. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for, for a gentleman, though, who maybe isn't the most confident, or, or he has a measure of confidence, but, you know, is not very assertive with himself. Mm -hmm. What would you advise him this year, you know, as maybe he's sitting down and thinking, you know what, I think I'm ready to settle down. I think I'm ready to start looking. What would you advise a gentleman like that as far as even what he is looking for and how he should go about finding it? Good. If he's still looking and he's a little bit private and reserved, he's an introvert, for example, mm -hmm. and he has no confidence. Oh, ma, may I, I may jaribu ku approach him and na kakua hat <laughs> before, kakua, yeah. you know, kakua ashamed. One method you can do that is, first of all, let's look at you. Contact me. You can contact me on phone and all that. Or contact me, a professional person. You can discuss your life. There mm -hmm. could be something new that makes you afraid. And then you communicate it to everybody. Okay. Non-verbally. Okay. okay. They okay. see timidity. They see fear. They say, what's wrong with you? <laughs> so you show it a, lo a lot. It could be that something you can deal with. Number two, it could be just the natural fear. I don't know who told people that dating is easy. People come saying, mm -hmm. the moment they experience a few difficulties, they're giving up. And I was asking, what did you expect? You can't get a good thing, anything good, easily. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even dating is no exception. Yeah. So I want the brother to brace for the journey. Somebody asked me how many people I checked on while I was searching. Count there. I did not count because you don't count misses. We count hits. Oh. <laughs> so, but to give you a number, conservatively 50. 50? If you need a figure. If you're talking about everybody has checked on, just trying, could this be the what one? That, wait, what does checked on mean? Because that's the other question that us ladies have, you know, as far as what do men actually want in women. The other day I walked to the guy. for chicks, if a chick is to come and tell you that she's checked on 50 dudes, well, Tashtuka. 
ladies don't, don't hunt like they're hunted so i'm talking about the hunter not the hunted okay so for ladies you would think that's kind of oh i've checked on you just how many people have checked on you tell me 100 your scales go up for me i tell you you're very marketable <laughs> I'm in demand. You are. You are. You cannot. <laughs> and, and I'll tell you next time when you are married, you are also very attractive to another type. Because when you are married, you look forbidden. And the forbidden is always more attractive. You're just acknowledging their effort. <laughs> they are happy now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord. Okay. <laughs> so so uh -huh. this boy, what I walked uh, to check on a girl means this. I walked to the guy who was being an, having a lot of difficulty trying to get a good woman the other day. And when we were walking, we were around supermarket. Check that girl in a supermarket. Why did you greet that girl? So mm -hmm. checking means greet, introduce, okay. and go. Well, you said something. He's he's looking for a good woman. What is a good woman? He has said many girls before. He has said these casual things, flings. There's a girl who comes on the weekend, but he's sure you will never marry that girl. <laughs> But the guy is is he's trained very highly. He's an advocate and the training is very rigorous. Lawyers mm -hmm. are trained in a rigorous way. And I told them being a lawyer is a blessing and a curse at the same time. The rigor you're taking through, you begin to look at that for that in women. Mm. Either you marry a colleague lawyer or come down to the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> so I told her and, and their profession is a battle. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a fight every time. Yeah. So what what this guy would tell him is one. There are some skills of dating you need to be taught how to make connections. And uh, introverts, I encourage them to chat because talk, chatting is easier for them than mm -hmm. talking face to face. Okay. Okay. Encourage writing, <clears throat> chatting, and other kind of things. So check out with a professional or develop techniques that work for your type of personality. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be too shy until you get laid, brother. What about these instances? You know, because a man says now, I want a woman who can cook. She needs to look good. She needs to... Like you're saying, it's it's this it's an idyllic woman. Like this woman is supposed to be perfect in all in all regards. Mm -hmm. Um and there are those guys who insist on their girlfriend at a kabla kwe girlfriend. Lazima kuje kwake, am fulie, sujia osha vyombo, am pike chakula and duajue ka yeni wife material. And to warm his bed. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The problem with this kind of uh, guys, eh? I don't need to take you to my house to see you performing. I can see the kind of person you are. Mm -hmm. By talking to you, I can tell the roles you play in your home. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, the, the tasks you're played in your home. and I can tell. I don't need to test drive you. You're not a car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Um, those guys who seem to be doing that, Right. How many have been done like that? And how many have been hand? I told guys, good girls seem to come from, wife materials, those virtuous women, seem to come from the same human family. Hmm. And you can only find one in a lifetime. Wow. You mistreat one, unless it was natural thing like death or something. You don't get another one. The moment they sniff that their sister was mistreated, they also know they are not safe with you. Yeah. And they are good women. Good women have this characteristic. They are not desperate. They are not even flattered by your achievements. They first mm -hmm. of all to study your person. Because they know mm -hmm. that one will last longer. Yeah, exactly. This other one is persona. Your fame, Atunajua whether you are this. Magari na That's persona. Ah, yes. yes. They are looking for the person. <laughs> <laughs> they are not interested in what, what people think, how popular you are. So I told, I told I, this guy, I was telling him, because he was saying he can get any girl because he has money, driving mm. good girls and all that. And he's, I told him, you are talking, you're not talking about the wife, you're not talking about wife material. You're talking about those women. If you can have a woman by money, she is not a wife material. Right. <laughs> so I told her, the woman you're looking for, first of all, her integrity, will check, she'll be checking on your character as a person. Wow. She is happy that you have built yourself financially. She is actually happy that you are progressive. You're but there's another side she is more interested in. Mm -hmm. Because she's not in your life for the money. I need us to talk about that because, as you said earlier, driven guys will also want a driven woman. Yes. Right? And here you're also talking about these words integrity and mm -hmm. accountability. But for you to find that woman, it also means you as a gentleman need to be willing to be corrected. Correct. Even by her. Mm hmm but a lot of gentlemen are not willing to have that because wow, sasa ndio ndume, yeye ndio anajua. So, you know, do do guys appreciate that? Thank when you for using that like word can... because I wanted to use it. Tafuta mwanaume na sio dume, sasa wa. You're looking for a man, not a bull. Mm. <laughs> you know, bulls don't give way. They must, you know, wow. post mm, their that's way. That's powerful, yeah. You need a man who is secure enough to listen to your input, to respect um, uh, my girl told me she wanted a guy who, who will allow her to dress him. 
And I said, I was dreaming of that. Mm -hmm. I don't like thinking about what I wear tomorrow. I don't like ironing. I, don't, I was looking <laughs> for that exactly. Uh -huh. Can you think on my behalf? I give you clothes, buy money, buy the clothes for me, <laughs> do the thing for me. Yeah. You need a guy who gives you your area of competence, akwachi you perform. And I tell, I hear girls telling me there are guys who don't like to be prepared re recommendation as a, as a dressing. And I'm wondering, where do you get these fools from? <laughs> anyway, mm. anyway so there are some girls who describe their husband and you think they're describing a monster. Right. They come to my inbox and this guy demeans me, criticizes me, he locks me in the house, doesn't want me to go out to, to interact with my people, doesn't want me to work. I have to account for every coin, he gives me to the last coin. And the, my screaming question is, what are you doing with him? Mm. <laughs> Where did you get him from? You know, you had a choice, my dear. God said the man you marry will rule over you, but he asked you to choose your ruler. Right. <laughs> give you the power to choose who to rule you. I, th the point is, I, I told girls that if they marry at 20, 21, and 22, and 23, to stop coming here complaining that, uh, that the person they married is flirting around. Because at that early age, they're supposed to be exploring. I told them, the one mistake they make is, if you marry too early before you can read character, you are prone to make mistakes. Mm. Grow enough until you can read character. And you can tell red signs when they still look pink. <laughs> <laughs> because when you're in love, red signs look pink. <laughs> he's checking on you every time. He's controlling, but you think he's concerned. Yeah. Yucky, he can't stay without thinking about he's but you can tell. This call umgona man, pig a picture. Pigas and a pig a video call. And you have kiddy on your pendo. He's showing you already that he's very insecure and possessive. Yeah. So it, it, it's, it, we, we also need to then be very frank with ourselves because I think we, we try and sanitize a lot of yes. things. We, 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 we say that him checking on us, we're like, at least, you know, at least he checks in on me. We, it's almost like you want to feel like he's jealous, but it's not, it's not a healthy thing at all. True love is jealous, but it's not possessive. Nobody should interfere with your personal freedom. Joyce, I asked you the other day, how does it go down with you, an adult, somebody asking you, how does that go down with this as a self-respecting adult? Mm -hmm. You should feel insulted. Mm -hmm. So when women tell me this has gone on for years, I'm wondering, when did you switch off your dignity as a person to be allowed to be taken as a puppet? You should feel an insult. <laughs> you know, nobody should ask you that. So the, the, the one thing you need to tell girls is this. Don't be too presumptive. Be realistic with mm -hmm. yourself. Hey. Benjamin Zulu, before you, yani it, this is the first day of January 2020, <laughs> Benjamin amekuja, ametu muagilia makamoto, <laughs> umeturushia tu makamoto, but it's important, I mean, we, we, need to, we need to change, we need to be better people in 2020, Yes. emotionally, physically, psychologically, everything, and so you know what, I want to give you a moment, yani uongete na na raia, speak to the nation, specifically our men, um, just as far as, who they who they are and who they can be i think i think a lot of people are ready to be in relationships but there's a lot of issues we need to deal with among our own selves first so i just want to give you that chance to just speak out to the guys who are watching so today. brothers our identity as a man is found by the instrument upstairs not the instrument downstairs don't identify yourself with how you can perform by your energy. Identify yourself by the integrity, how much you can grow a woman, how much you can respect a woman. Mm -hmm. You may not have been born or oriented into that, but you can uh, grow yourself into it. Mm -hmm. And to, to this year, the one thing you can do well is to redefine your role in a relationship. You are not a master or controller. You are a partner. You need a helper. And if you need a helper, then accept help. If you don't help, don't disturb another woman, you know. Right. Another thing is, these open-ended relationships, so let's see where it goes. You are not showing leadership, you are mm -hmm. showing insecurity and confusion. Mm -hmm. How about you decide what you want in your life so that whenever a woman comes, you describe the job description. This is where I'm going and I want you to assist me with this. That will even help you and give you clarity yourself. And finally, there are some guys who I tell them, if you get a good woman, don't rush her to bed because you will destroy the connection. Sex mm -hmm. churns up very ugly emotions and insecurities when it is done outside uh, the wrong time. You can lose good people if you are too hurry. Another thing I told you, if you tell the girl about bed and all that, she, she, it registers that that's what you have done with other women. And right. it, it churns some insecurity. Some women are not insecure. It's us who behave untrustworthy. Right. <laughs> you know, it's churn up those things. How about you be trustworthy about you do so that you give her permission to, to, to give you now permission to go where you want? 
behave trustworthy so she can trust you and give you freedom to operate. But Absolutely. I tell people, I'm trustworthy to my girl out of self-serving interest because mm -hmm. Nikki Biev Vizuri ataniacha ni perform. Nikki Biev Vibaya inabidi ya ni mulike na toche every time. And I was looking for <laughs> the freedom. <laughs> Thank you so much. Can I mention my social media? Yes, please. Zulu Benjamin at Gmail. That's my Zulu Benjamin at Gmail email. Facebook Zulu Benjamin page with the word page at the end. Thank you so much. Thank you, Benjamin. Always Thank a pleasure. I'm grateful we got to start the brand new year with you. Yeah. You've certainly given us a, a whole lot to think about this New Year's Day. Hey, guys, double two triple nine is the SMS line. Benjamin Zulu is his name. All right, guys, we're going to take a short break right now. But when we come back, we have prepared a segment beforehand for you um, talking about an indulgent New Year's meal treat. We're going to be showing you how you can actually prepare this with our guests, Coco Network. Stay tuned. This is Full Circle with Joyce coming up next. <laughs>